Hi guys and welcome back to our video tutorials. So this week we have a very special feature demonstration containing our new uh, charts from our WP Data Tables 4.0 update. And now in addition to our high chart, Chart.js and Google Charts, we have an, another engine and those are the Apex Charts. The possibility with, that, uh, with these charts are uh, many. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we'll use this um pretty basic table to create a new pie chart. So here, when we go to the chart wizard, we actually select name the chart. So we know which one it is. Pie chart gradient, for example. And let's write that down. And choose the engine, which is Apex Charts. So we choose pie chart with gradient and click next. Here we select the source which is the table and on the next screen we choose two columns which we add and click on next uh, important thing to note is that for pie charts you can only add two columns so you cannot use more than two when we this goes for every engine not just the apex charts mm -hmm. so pie charts can only contain two columns so in here we can see that this is a, a new thing the animation when you click on it you can see when the table when the page loads with the chart it it works with this little animation um, also you can change the background image of the chart so choose any image you have in your media library select it and you will see it in here in the background uh, also you can change the um, image in the series as well so as you can see the image is plotted on the back um, you can with the uh, with this chart you can also enable monochrome color palette so you can see how it looks like in monochrome and you can actually choose what color you'll use for uh, for it so for example it can be gray it can be red it can be yellow it can be purple but it'll always be in this uh, monochrome palette. You can use uh, a, an actual color palette which comes with Apex charts. They currently have uh, only 10 palettes, so you can choose from these. And uh, when you have more data in the chart, you can see that actually uh, colors do repeat. Unfortunately, this is not something that we can do. We can change actually. So um, it may be best to simply use the um, colors as they are you can show the data labels which are these percentages inside the chart enable the drop shadow which is the shadow around each slice uh, here you can configure the color of the drop shadow the uh, blur and the uh, opacity of the drop shadow so we'll turn that off for this uh, video uh, title we can move it around for example let's align it to the left so it's up in here for the tooltips we can uh, enable the following of the cursor and fill with series colors so when you hover over it it picks up the color of each slice in the tooltip uh, legend which is right here can be moved below the title for example on the left so it may be a bit more uh, appealing and for the toolbar you can enable it and similar to high charts you can okay <laughs> you can download uh, the chart as svg png or csv when you save the chart you get the short code as for any other chart engine and you just post it on your page to see how it looks in the front end okay that's great well to me it looks like you have the endless possibility of customizing your charts with uh, this type of engine. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below the video. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.